Hey everyone, I am doing a second video today. Um, I just did a Digimon one and now I'm doing a Chobits one. What do I have for Chobits? Chobits is my favorite, my all time favorite. I just love cheap. So I got two boxes and I thought I ordered the same thing twice of a little Digimon figure, but even though I'm still pretty sure I did, this other box is not the second figure. It's um, an order from Tokyo Otaku, Otaku Mode, and they actually sent the shipping in a really adorable little, um, like, you know, clear file folder that they call them, and it has a cute little anime character on it, and it says, thank you, let's enjoy otaku life. Um, I am not really sure why I ordered this from Tokyo Otaku Mode, as opposed to um, Good Smile Company because I usually buy everything from Good Smile Company for Nendos. It's the Chobits Nendo. Oh my gosh, can you believe they finally, finally made a Chobits Nendo? So I haven't opened any Nendos in a long time. I have heaps of them, like still in their boxes. I never open them anymore because I, know, I, I ordered a bunch. I was in like a craze for a little while and then I started getting them all in and I was opening them. And one of them that I opened broke right out of the box and I was super frustrated and I'm like, I gotta put this aside. And you know, so here's the box. <laughs> anyway, um, I uh, told myself I really need to stop with the Nendos and stick with my intention with Nendroids, which was clam characters, but they were so few and far between that I started buying others because they were cute and blah, blah, blah. And you know, you, ta you get taken over by Miku Hatsune. So, um, when they finally came with Chobits, I feel like my, uh, Nendroid collecting, this is the epitome for me. I bought two because she has a sister, it's Freya, and, um, they're supposed to have a pre-order specialty with it. I don't know. I don't know what it could be. Maybe that file folder is the clear is the, per, the freebie I got from Otaku Mode. Um, anyway, I do have a ton of Nendroids, and I really need to go through and let them go. Oh, here we go. There is a freebie with it, so I don't know what this is, but it is something that comes with Chi. And it looks like I did, in fact, get two of them, which is really great. So one for each. This is Nendroid number 200, 2053, and you know what, I, <laughs> it's nice actually that I ordered from Tokyo Otaku Mode because I feel like this is a really fast arrival. I only have a few um, Nendroids left on pre-order through Good Smile Company, um, but they still won't be coming to me as far away as like next year. So like 2024. So this is Chi from Chobits uh, by Clamp, Nendroid number 2053. And you can see her, she's just in a very basic white dress. She has a little book, she has a sleeping face. And it's actually cool, she has two bodies it looks like. So like a sitting one and a standing one. You can see all her different things there. And then she has a little pair of underwear that she puts on top of her head. If you have not seen the series, it is quite old, but I do believe they have re-released it on Blu-ray. Um, and it is just, it's really cute. I mean, there's kind of, you know, of course there's like funny moments um, that are typical of most anime, but this is just, I mean, she is like the cutest anime character ever, ever, I personally feel. So I typically always open my Nendroids from the bottom. I just cut the little sealant tape and then pop them open. So here is a um, instruction booklet for her. And we'll just slide her clamshell out here. I brought the whole backing with me. I, you know, Oh, they have it like taped to the clamshell and to the box. This little packaging of extra arms. So I'm going, oh, and her stand is in here too. I'm just going to snip this away so I don't rip the 
backing here. All right, so <laughs> I have the second one here. I'm going to actually move it. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to open up the second one yet, but I might, I don't know, because I did buy them definitely to display them. This is definitely a figure that I will not be leaving um, in her box. I love Chi, and I just, I don't want to leave her to dwindle, and I have a bunch of things here that I have been buying, waiting for the day that they would release the chill bits. And the funny thing is, is like, I bought these long before, uh, oh, I don't think I need tape for the clamshell, do I? I bought these long before they ever announced the chill bits, um, Nendroid, because I was going to make my own custom one. I had a wig, or not a wig, but like the, uh, hair. I picked out some faces, and I picked out bodies. Um, oh my gosh, she's so adorable. Obviously, um, one thing about she that is unique to her is her ears. Um, but there, you know, it's a thing that I feel like you could probably make with polymer clay or something and replicate. All right, so I'm going to be a little careful here. It's, I, I don't want to ruin anything, but she's just so adorable. Are you guys ready to see this level of cuteness? Look at her. Oh my gosh. The hair is definitely a, un a unique for feature for her too. It almost is wing-like and it's uh, kind of parting there. The only negative that I feel for this is the very basic outfit. Yes, she... Uh, has a moment in the anime where she's kind of wearing, it's in the manga too, uh, where she's wearing kind of like a, mm, no, you know what? I don't think there is actually a moment in the anime and manga where she's wearing this actual white dress. There are plenty of images of her in a basic white dress like this because Clamp did a whole ton of like um, art images and art books for Chobits because she is just so stinking cute. All right, so here's an interesting thing. So I took off the front of her hair and the ear pieces are part of the hair. So they don't come off. They're not going to open like they do in the Chobits series. Um, so that's just a, a, you know, be aware when you're taking her apart that you're also pulling the ears. And I definitely kind of pulled from the front, like there's two little ridges for her bangs. So I pulled from that instead of on her ears, just to make sure that I wouldn't mess anything up. There's her faceplate. And I'm going to take off. Gosh, you know, I haven't opened up an Android in so long. I'm not even sure how to disassemble them anymore. Okay, so then here's the internal mechanism of her head here. You can see the neck joint is actually through that... Um, plate there that slides underneath the um, hair. I guess that would be, that's new to me. I haven't opened up an Android in so long, but it does slide right out with just a little bit of gentle wiggling. So there you can see, there's actually a little indentation in the hair there. And inside the head actually has a copyright it says copyright c.st slash k made in china so then i took off the little oops plastic part that was between her uh head and neck i just had one of her arms kind of pop out but it went right back in so that's no problem now let's see about this. How do how does the plastic come out of her legs here? It's been so so long. I don't even know. Does her There we go. So it comes apart underneath her dress. I was used to like the waist being a cut line, but obviously they wanted to keep the dress as a whole um, garment instead of having a cut line there. So then her hips came out along with her legs. You just slip off that little piece of plastic and then you can pop the legs back in. The legs are movable at the hip only. There is no leg joint. If they came out with a um, 
Nendal of Chi, which I suppose you could just get the Nendroid body to put her head on. Um, oh my gosh, it would be amazing. It would be so cool to see all the different um, whatever outfit. Please, if they make a Nendroid doll, don't do this basic white outfit. It's so basic. So I'm going to just show you this. It is very cute, right? But I'm going to actually show you the uh, different bodies that I have been saving for forever to make for Chi. So I just slid her face plate back in. Um, let me just show you her other face plates. Where did that go? Where is it? Um, she has kind of, so she has this one where she's kind of just kind of there, not really smiling, just kind of open looked. And then here she does have a little bit of an open face or an open mouth, kind of turned up to a little bit of a smile. And then this other one is a closed eye, kind of just also tranquil looking. Um, and then here is her secondary body, which it does look like I'll have to wiggle the hips out to get the plastic out too. But also just, this is a different outfit. It's just a white t-shirt. <laughs> Why did they have to go so basic on her outfits? I don't know. And then here's her pair of underwears that she squishes over her head. It's actually pretty squishy, so I suppose you could put these on any, any Nendroid's head <laughs> if you wanted. And then she also has a little pillow for her sitting body to sit on. Let's just set it on there and see how it looks, because it actually has a little indentation for where she's supposed to sit. There you go. That's pretty cute. That's actually, because it's such a basic outfit, you could put any Nendroid on there and then have them being in a cute little sitting position. So that's kind of a cute thing. And then the last little accessory they have here, if I can get it out, it's kind of taped in, is her City of No People book. Oh, and then I have to open up that special pre-order thing. So there's her um, book that she reads. It has, um, oddly, a little hole in it which must be like a peg for her hand, maybe? Although she has no alternate hands that I see here. And neither one of them like have a peg to hold the book. So I don't, I don't quite understand why there's a little hole. I thought that was a moon at first until I looked closely at it. See that little hole there? I don't know why they would do that if her if she doesn't have any alternate hands to hold. Oh, maybe they're in here with her base. There's more arms and hands, so let's take a look. Here I am being all judgmental. <laughs> I just this is my most favorite character ever, and I just really want her to be like perfection. All right, so the face and the ears really are perfection. The hair is perfection. She's unfortunately in very basic outfit, but. Um, let's take a look at her alternate arms here and see what's going on. I'm just going to take that tape right off of the packaging. This is for the stand. Oh yes, yeah, so there is a hand that has um, some pegs here. So, wow, I really have not opened an Android in such a long time. Even the little, like, peg to put into the base is different. Does the base have the anime name on it? Nope, it sure doesn't. That's disappointing. They used to print like in tiny little white letters the um, series or maybe the um, you know original artist who uh, you know made this. So like I would it would have been cool to say to see clamp on there um, but they don't have it. All right so um, in here we have a series of different arms. Let's see, there is, oh, okay, so this is kind of cool. So there is um, one, two, three, four, five different arms with the hands attached so they aren't separate, but there is ones that have pegs uh, to hold the book. There's also, um, well, I should say there is a pair, there is a set of arms that are bent and then her hands are clasped, so that's kind of cute because she does 
um, you know, have that pose, I think, in some of the, in some moments of the anime or manga. Um, so there they all are. You, that That's the pair of hands right there that are clasped. That's really cool. Um, I'm not going to take them out, though. Uh, but let's take a look and see what's the special pre-order, because I don't even remember if they showed it or not. So it says, not for sale, made in China, clamp fans. And it goes for number 2053. Let's open this up. See what's in here. Kind of want to preserve this. I don't even know why. I'll just end up throwing it in the box. But it feels soft, so it feels like a soft, squishable thing. Oh, you know what it is? <laughs> It's a second book, which is kind of cool. So that first book is, you know, in the series, um, both the manga and anime, she um, reads these books that technically her, well, I won't give it away if you haven't seen the series, but it's a second book, which is kind of cool, um, in, this, in the series called The City of No People. And it has the little Atashi character on there. She's like a little pink bunny. She kind of looks like Chi and her sister Freya and it's supposed to help she kind of remember who she is. Um, so that's kind of cool. That's a cool um, secondary thing and it is different from the first book. The first book has just the city and then the second book has the little Atashi on it. So that's kind of neat. That's a nice um, pre-order special thing I guess with that. That's kind of neat. And I thought it was soft because there was a huge thing of bubble wrap around the book <laughs> inside this tiny little envelope which is kind of funny to me. I was thinking it might be like a, I don't know, plushie or something, but she never really had a plushie in the series. So now I just want to show you guys these bodies that I have been saving. This was the wig that I was going to go with. Um, I thought I was doing pretty good with this. I don't even remember which Nendo this is from, but I thought I was doing pretty good with the look of this. I think that's fairly close. It's not as long, but blonde and kind of fanned out. I have the front somewhere, but I don't need it now. I probably should just let it go. Um, then I have, I actually shared this into one of my Nundroid groups, um, but I have this body. I actually got it secondhand not too long ago um, as the, um, it needs a little bit of adjustment, but this would be like her T-Roll bakery outfit. I don't remember which Nandroid this is from, but I did order it from Chibi Chop Shop, and I thought it would be perfect. Oh my gosh, and it really kind of is. Look at that, you guys. That's adorable. I love it. Even the shoes are pretty good. So, that's that would be her little bakery outfit. Um, oh, you know what? I just noticed. So her hair here, these little two pieces, are not movable left and right. Oops. But as you can see, they actually come off the peg so you can turn the direction that they're kind of like blowing in the breeze, right? Because her hair is so long. That's a part of the series where she's kind of, you know, her hair is just really iconic for her. So it's kind of cool that you can change the direction that they look like they're kind of um, floating or blowing in. It's kind of neat. So that's one of the outfits that I got for her. And I am very happy that I was just able to plug it right onto her neck without any difficulties. Um, another outfit that I got for her, which it would be cool to actually get this a second time um, I don't know. So this, I don't remember this, um, uh, which character this is from either, which Nundo, but this I feel like would be the image of her sister when she's all plugged in and plugged up like, uh, she's kind of like in a, I don't know, a charging suit or something because they're, they're robots. And uh, 
I just thought this would this kind of looked like those outfits so I think that looks pretty good too it actually looks really cool I dig it I would have to paint like chobits on the side of her leg over there to make it look more authentic but that's that's really cool I like that um, and then last but not least I actually got two because I told myself someday I would have two Chobits um, characters because I had to have Chi and Freya so I got two cute little like dresses because Chi is very light and like pinks and whites it's very, very iconic to match her ears but then her sister wears like blacks and purples um, because she's kind of depressed and um, so I got these two dresses I don't know if these were from characters either I feel like these were like those nendroid extras like where you could get different um, bodies that weren't necessarily for any character oh my gosh I never even took the plastic off of this um, let me pop these this bit of plastic off so this one would totally work for the pink dress that Chi wears um, that her mom gives her um, as kind of like a alternate outfit to wear because her owner who ends up being her boyfriend uh, is a poor college kid who can't afford to clothe his robot computer girl. <laughs> so her mother uh, gives her more clothes. But this could totally work even just as it is. It's kind of like pinks and pink and teals and whites, but I could totally paint the couple of teal parts and it would be almost spot on for the pink dress that she wears um, that her mom gives her. So let me just pop this on her neck here. If I can get it on there. There we go. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. She's so adorable. I love her already. She is probably going to be my most favored Nendroid ever. super super cute but just to show you in fairness I will show you the one that I got that would be for her sister so technically of these four bodies that I have um, this pink dress and then the calf, the maid dress would be for Chi and then this like body plug suit outfit plus this dark purple or black dress would be for Freya so I actually have two outfits for each of them which is pretty cool. So let me put this dark one on and we'll get a little bit of a sense of her sister, Freya. Oops, I just popped her hips off. See, this is an older body that definitely uh, comes apart at the hips and the legs, which why you would want to do that, I don't know. I guess probably because you could change out the skirt to something different. So then here, oh, actually, this one has a neck already in there. Let's see if I can pop that out. There we go. <laughs> that looks super cute, too. So this one, I would definitely put, like, the um, kind of the closed face in there for her sister, Freya. Oh my gosh. All right, should I do it so we can get a sense of um, Freya and her kind of like just sadness? <laughs> she is sad too because, you know, her, her sister isn't around and she misses her. All right, so then this would be like Freya. Oh my gosh. I love this. This is the epitome of Nendroids for me. There's no other Nendroids that could top this, ever. Um, I am super thrilled that 
a bunch of clamp characters have been being created into Nendoroids now. It was just only Cardcaptor Sakura for a long time. They had like four or five different ones of them. And then um, they announced uh, um, Holic, which is uh, Yuko and oh, what's the kid's name? Uh, Watsunuki. And then they finally announced Chobits. And I think they announced another series, maybe? I don't know. But if Clamp could work with Nend uh, with Good Smile to get all of their major characters from all their series created, I would buy every single one. And I would love them all. And I'd probably just get rid of the rest of my Nendroid collection. Except for, like, you know, the few Miku Hatsunis who are, like, slowly taking over my life. So, let me know what y'all think. How do you like uh, Chi with this very basic outfit set. It's cool that she has two bodies. Um, it's great that she has three different face plates and a couple of accessories plus the pre-order um, bonus. But I would very highly recommend um, seeking out alter alternate bodies for her because one thing that I can say for Chobits is that even though in the series she doesn't actually wear a whole ton of different outfits, um, they have so many just stunning outfits drawn and created for Chi um, at like the manga chapter beginnings, the pages are drawn um, in the anime, in all the art books. She just has as many outfits or more than Sakura had in all her card captor shenanigans. So I would highly recommend if you get a Chobits Nendroid to seek out some alternate bodies because she's going to look fantastic in anything you put her in. And if you really, really love Chobits, you would probably end up with two like I did. So you can have both Chi and Freya um, displayed at the same time. So I really appreciate you guys watching this one. I am sorry I haven't done Nendroid stuff in a while, um, but this, this is, this is it for me. This is like, this is like, this will be the highlight of my collection for sure, for forever. I might have to buy more of her just so I can have more of her on display and all the outfits I want to get for her. So um, let me know what y'all think and let me know if you want me to hit up all the rest of the Nendroids that are like literally waiting in stacks to be opened and I can try to get around to them. Um, but uh, I'm just, I'm so thrilled with this. This is just, she's adorable. So thank you guys so much for watching and um, I will be definitely posting up pictures of her. Bye!